today's message unchangeable events unchangeable events we will take our reading from the book of Matthew chapter number 16 Chapter 16 I will read from verse 21 to 23. Hallelujah. This is a scripture we all know. Lena ke le ngwala le o re letse bang ka o fela. The Bible says from that time Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders the chief priests and scribes and be killed and raised on the third day 16 verse 22 then peter took him aside and he began to rebuke him saying far be it from you lord this shall not happen to you but he turned and said to peter get behind me satan are you listening to that <laughs> you are an offense to me for you are not mindful of the things of god but of the things of men please read it for us hai fuma nele e ba le a tsena ho tloha mo hlang o jeso a qala a hlalosetsa barute barutu wa bahai hore e ka gona a ye Jerusalem a utlise bohloko bo boholo ke baholo le ba priesta ba baholo le ba ngodi me a bolawe anto tsoha ka letsatsi la boraro 22 impa petrosi a monkela thoko a kala ho mogalemela a re ho yena morena o ikutlo o ikutlele bohloko tse jwalo dikeketsa tsa o hlaela Jesu a retile a re hope trose ko ha ho nna satane o gopiso ho nna ho bana ha o tlitsa modimo o utlwatsa batho fela Hallelujah Amen. Oh my god are you listening to that Say can you please read verse 20 uh, 21 again yes 21 Ho tloha mo hlang o Yes Jesu a qala a hlalosetsa barutu wa ba hae hore e ka gona a e Jerusalem a utlise bohloko bo boholo ke baholo le ba priesta ba baholo le ba ngoti me a bolawe anto tso haka tsatsi la boraro are you listening to that people of god as children of god jalo ka bana ba motimo there will be unchangeable events in our lives ho tla ba le diketsa halo tse kekentsa fetolwa maphelong a rona people of god chabasamotimo from the scriptures we have read ho tswa temane e re ba dileng you will agree with me o tla dumelana le nna when i say ha ke re jesus christ was fully away Morena Jesu ona etse hloko haholo about the painful event that was ahead of him. Ka diketsa halo tse bohloko tse ne di tlakapela ha e. When you read this scripture Jesus was telling them before it happens that this is what I'm, I'm about to go through. How bala timana yena Morena Jesu ona ba tjetsa pele ka etsa hala hore sena ke seo ke to fita ho sona. So you will agree with me. Jale o tla dumelana le nna. That Jesus Christ. Hore Morena Jesu Christ was fully away. Ona etse hloko of the painful event. Di ketsa halo tse bohloko that was ahead of him. Tse ne di tla ka pele ho yena. The Bible says. Bibili iri. He took his disciples. An ka ba rutu wa ba hai. And he began to share his vision. Me a qalelela ho arolana le bona pono ya hai. That he was about to suffer many things. Ho rona to feta ka ro nthotse ngata. In the hands of the elders, the chief priests and the scribes. Ma tsohong a ba holo. Le ba priesta ba ba holo le ba ngodi Hallelujah So Jesus Jesus shared with them 
That he was about to be beaten and brutally murdered. People of God, Jesus saw everything that was ahead of him. But that could not stop it from happening. Because it was an unchangeable event. The man that we are talking about, it is the man who is regarded the greatest prophet who have ever lived. The Bible says whenever he will pray for those who are without sight, I mean the blind, immediately the blind will see. When he prayed for the lame, the Bible says immediately as he prayed, they would begin to walk. God will forever answer his prayer. But people of God, here, the Bible records that Jesus Christ saw what was about to happen to him. The painful thing that was about to happen to him. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 26 verse 39 the Bible says Jesus Christ fell on his face and he prayed and he said Father if it is possible let this cup pass me by this is that Jesus who prayed and all his prayers were answered but this time even though he fell on his face to pray his prayer did not change the situation because it was an unchangeable event people of God there are times that your prayer and fasting will not change your situation. I mean, there are times that you will go through things in life. And you will begin to pray. And you will begin to fast. But after having done that, you will not see the results that you are expecting. Why? Because the fact that you are a Christian does not mean you will not go through hard times. I repeat my statement. The fact that you are a Christian, the fact that you are a child of God does not mean that you will not go through hardship. Under the word hardship, I'm talking about unemployment. Under the word hardship, I'm talking about sickness. I'm talking about rejection. I'm talking about name calling. That you are a child of God does not mean you will not go through all those things. Because unlike the unbelievers, hard times to us are not meant to impair us, but they are meant to improve us. Listen to me, child of God. As a child of God, when you go through hard times, that hard time is not there to impair you. But that hard time is allowed by God to improve you. 
Because God knows it is too hard times when we seek his face the more. Hard times they come. There are times we pray and fast but situations remain the same for a while. Child of God, I am here to tell you it is not because God does not hear but hard Time that you are passing through, it is there to make you desire God. The more. I Unlike the unbelievers, when they go through things, I mean, when they go through hard times, those hard times are there to destroy them. But you, you are not like any of them. When you go through something, it may be for God to test the genuineness of your faith. Yes, yes. God can allow you to pray and you see as if he has not heard you because he would want to see if after you don't see anything from him, you will still say Jesus is Lord. When times are good, Everyone can say Jesus is Lord. But it takes a man of faith to say Jesus is Lord when they are going through hardship. So sometimes God will allow you to go through things just to test the genuineness of your faith. Jesus knew this. That is why when Peter began to cancel him, he said, be away from me. Are you an offense to me? For so you are not Mindful of the things of God. But the of Why was Jesus so offended by Peter? Why was Jesus so offended by Peter? Why was Jesus so offended by Peter? Because he realized that. Peter could not see deep enough. He realized that Peter does not see beyond his situation. Jesus knew that beyond this pain there is promotion. So that's why when Peter tried to say to stop him. He was furious. And he said, away from me, Satan. People of God, even today, there are still Christians who don't see deep enough. Christians who don't see beyond their present pain. There are Christians today when they pray and when God does not answer their prayer, they believe that God is not there. Are you following me? Overflow, are you here? Yes! There are Christians today after they pray and they don't see the results of their prayer. They believe that their prayers were in vain. Let me tell you something. A secret of the operations of heaven. When you pray and you fast, hear me, hear me. When you pray, how 
and you fast over a situation and the situation does not change it does not mean God is not aware it is what we call unchangeable event when you pray and you fast and the situation does not change it does not mean those prayers were in vain it does not mean God did not hear that prayer but those prayers and fastings are the ones that will impart in you enough enough strength to endure that season of hardship as it comes. Please listen to me. Listen to me carefully. When you pray over a painful situation, you are going through a situation in your life. I mean, I don't know your situation. You know your situation. You pray and you begin to fast. But the situation does not change. Don't allow the devil to mislead you. To think that God is no longer part of that because you did not see the result you expected. Those prayers and fasting they are the ones that will, will impart strength to enjoy that painful season that God allowed to happen in your life. Let me make an example because I want you to understand me clearly. Are you here, church? Are you still following me? When you pray, assume here you are, you see that you are about to lose your job. And you begin to pray. Signs you pray. Father, help me. I don't want to lose my job. The following week, another trouble. You fast now. Father, help me. Help me. I don't want to lose my job. And after all that effort, you lose your job. It does not mean God has not heard your prayer. It does not mean that God is not part of what is happening. It does not mean those prayers were in vain. Those prayers, they are the ones that will impact you with the strength to enjoy that season of change in your life. It is those prayers that will carry you through that season of unemployment. Ah, church, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, church? Yes, you prayed. The situation did not change. But those prayers, I say those prayers, that fasting, it will carry you. It will give you the strength during that season of unemployment in your life. Because who knows what is it that God was protecting you from that workplace? You pray that God, I don't want to lose my job, but you lose your job. Who knows if God kept you there by your prayer? What could have happened? Who knows? If God had kept you in that relationship, you pray, you pray, you pray, you pray. Who knows what could have happened? Isn't it God who fights your battles? There are battles that God is fighting for you at your workplace. You are not even aware. 
na ha se motimo ya o lwanela dintwa tsa ha hona le dintwa tsa o motimo a o lwanela tsona mo sebetsi ngwa ha o sa di ele hloko you are not away how di ele hloko you just see yourself going in and out we pona o tena o tswa some of you there are things that are placed in your office things that are placed at your workplace things that you've mashed on but they have never ever caused you any harm Baba mbalona hona le dintotse be weng office in Tsalona hona le dintotse be weng mesebetsi nyalona le tsamaile go dima tsona empahadi ya ka tsale ama There are plans and plots to destroy you that God saved you from Hona le morero wa o heletsa ho motimo a o thibileng ho ona So if God permits a situation Jo le motimo ha dumela bo emo It does not mean it's not part of it Ha o bulele lore ha se karolo ya ona Yes you are unemployed today. Dinnete haona mosebetsi ka jeno. You have been praying. Ononse o rapela. God save my job. Motimo bulo ka mosebetsi wa ka. But you are unemployed. Impalto ka mosebetsi. Let me tell you. Ere go bolelle. It was an unchangeable event. Inele ke tsahalo e ke ke nya fetolwa. It does not mean you how, are no longer a child of God. How bulelo re how sa le ngwana motimo. It does not mean God does no longer love you. How bulelo re motimo ha sa rata. As it happened with your master. How ye tsa hetse ka o oka metseng. It will happen to you. Ho tla etsa la le ho wena. There are times. Ho na le dinako. You will pray. Mo o tla rapela. You will fast. O tla itima di jo. But the situation will not change. Empa bo ye mo bo tseke ba fetoha. It is for your spiritual benefit. It is for your good. It is for your protection. Don't be quick to allow the devil to mislead you. When things are not going the way you expected them to go. Unchangeable events. Unchangeable events. Am I opening the eyes of somebody? Church am I opening the eyes of somebody? Now hona le motheke ke mo bula mmatlo. Let someone say unchangeable events. Unchangeable events. Tell anybody say as a child of God, as a child of God, there will be there will be unchangeable events in your life. Unchangeable events in your life. Let us go to the book of Daniel. I want to show you something. Hari mbukenya Daniel hona le ntweke batla ngo bontsa yona Daniel chapter number 6 Daniel chapter 6 Let someone say unchangeable events Ha mothe mong a re ma Let someone say unchangeable events Yes Thank you Jesus Oh thank you Lord Amen You know you know you know that I want you to leave this place thanking God for what you are passing through Amen because he is still behind it I say he's still behind it. Mm. That pain passing through. It may be painful to you. But you don't know the message of God behind it. Don't be like Peter. Who did not see deep enough. Yes, Oh Jesus. Hey. Daniel chapter number 6 Daniel chapter 6 I'll read verse 10 verse 10 Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed he went home and in his upper room in his upper room that is prayer room are you listening in his upper room with his windows open toward Jerusalem he knelt down on his knees three times Uh, that day and prayed and gave thanks before his god as was his custom since early days are you listening church this was the habit of daniel ena enele tlwaelo ya daniel three times kama kheto amararo he will go to pray ona ya alorapela are you listening let's continue then This man assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God and they went before the king and spoke concerning the king's decree Have you not signed a decree that every man who petitions any god or any man within 30 days except you O king shall be cast into the lions den Are you listening people of God Are you following me Let's go to verse 16. Verse 16 just this is a scripture you know but you read it in your spare time when you get home. Are you listening? 
Verse 16. So the king gave a command and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. But the king spoke saying to Daniel, your God whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. Then a stone was brought. I, I, my God. Listen to this. Then a stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den. And the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the signet of his lord that the purpose concerning Daniel might not be changed. Unchangeable event. Are, are you following me? Amen. Are you following me? Amen. Let's go to verse 19. Then, verse 19. Then the king arose very, in, very early in the morning and went in haste to the den of lions. And when he came to the, to the den, he cried out with a lamenting voice to Daniel. The king spoke saying to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God whom you serve continually been able to deliver you from the lions? Oh my God. Then Daniel said to the king, Oh king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth so that they have not hurt me because I was found innocent before him. And also, O oh king, I have done no wrong before you. Now the king was exceedingly glad, my God, for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no injury whatever was found on him because he believed his God. Amen. Church, because of time, we, I, I would continue. Are you listening? This is a story we all know when Daniel was taken into the lion's den. Daniel prayed three times. Daniel on a rappel a hararo. Every day. But this did not stop this painful event from happening. The Bible says, when they took him, they sealed the lion's den. So that this will be an unchangeable event. Because if they had not closed the den and they just put him in the lions, he could have run for his life and changed the event. But the den was sealed so that the event would not change. So that he can be face to face with death. Daniel Daniel was facing death face to face. God did not change the event. But God did not allow the lions to cause any harm on him. God although Daniel prayed God did not change the event. He allowed him to go through the event. But those prayers he made three times in every day. They carried him at the face of death. Him going to the lion's den did not mean that God was no longer with him. Even when he was still in the lion's den, he still believed in God. I don't know the lion's den that you are going through. I don't know the den you are in right now. But I'm here to tell you, you are not alone. How moon? I say you are not alone. How moon? God is aware about what you are passing through. Hold on. 
Manella. I say hold on. Give it to I say hold on. Give it to Don't let the devil deceive you. Se kwa tumel na satan outete. The size of your trials and tribulations. Boyemo ba matatal boholo ba matatal ma ima aha o. Determines the size of the responsibility ahead of you. Bulaula. Let me tell you something. The Bible tells us about the man by the name of Joseph. After Joseph saw a clear vision. Joseph that God was going to raise him. He had to go through the lion. Sorry. He had to go through the dry pit. After he went through the dry pit, as if it was enough, he went to, to be a slave at Potiphar's house. As if it was enough, he ended up in prison. All, all of this, it was to mature him. Because of the responsibility that was ahead of him. Let me tell you something. The size of your trouble. The size of your, your, your tribulation. Determines the size of your responsibility. If your challenges are small. Then your responsibility is small. But if your challenges are big, it shows that the responsibility ahead of you is big. It is only a big head that wears a big head. Hallelujah. Ah! It is only a big head that wears what? A, a big, big head. head. If your challenges are big, the responsibility ahead of you is big. Hold on. Don't change your confession. Say hold on. Don't change your confession. Say hold on. Say hold on. Say hold on. God is in control. Why when things happen to you, every time when things have to happen to you, the whole Bethlehem has to know. Why is it that Let me tell you something. The hard times you go through, God will allow them to happen in the face of many people. Because it is to make your God to be known. Let them talk about you. Let them write about you. Let them write about you. They will soon know your God. Why when I told you that the whole community has to know? Let me tell you. It is because when he comes back, they will respect your God. I said they will respect your God. The king respected the God of Daniel. After he first became against Daniel. He was first against him. But he respected his God. Let me tell you something. Champions are not known by their stars, but they are known by their scars. I repeat, champions are not known 
their stars. They are known by their stars. There will be times where it will look like God is not with you. There will be times where it looks like God does not hear you. I'm here to tell you it was an unchangeable event. God is still in control. God is away. God is away. Look beyond your situation. There is a promotion ahead of you. Soon, those who look down on you, they will look up to you. I said they will look up to you. Those who said to you, Who are you? They will soon say, How are you? Tell your neighbor, say, those who look down on you, who said, who are you? They will soon say, how are you? Everything that you are passing through now, it is for your spiritual benefit. It is to mature you. Are you listening? Amen. We gain experience by challenges. You go through things. They are not those, I don't know. I don't know. You know what you are passing through now. You have prayed. You have fasted. There's nothing you have not done. It was an unchangeable event. Hold on. I say hold on. I say hold on. Jesus is in control. I pray that this weight find, find a place in your heart. May the good Lord bless his weight in the midst of your heart.